In today's video, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know to start car camping today, including how to stay safe, how to make money on the road, how to shower on the road. This is how you stay safe traveling in your car camper. First, find a low crime rate area. You can do this by simply looking up on Google low crime rate areas around me or the lowest crime rate area in whatever state you're in. Always park in a well lit area with security cameras. Always keep your doors locked at night. Use privacy shades, minor magnetic. They're linked in the bio. I got them off Amazon and they're really useful because they just pop up like that. Optional, install an audible alarm system on your car so if someone were to break in, an alarm would start going off, scaring them away. Always, always, always have a plan B. What I like to say is be prepared for the worst and hope for the best. My car also has 5% tint on the windows so you cannot see in. Where do you park your car to sleep? Hospitals or emergency rooms are my favorite because there's usually a cop sitting in the parking lot. If you're in a prime right area and you have to spend the night there, go to the police station, let them know that you'll just be staying for over the night and then you'll be gone in the morning morning and nine times out of ten they'll say yes. Cracker barrels are my second favorite. There's spots in their parking lots that are designated to people that are spending the night. National parks and BLM land are always nice. Churches will never kick you out of the parking lot. Welcome slash info centers will never kick you out of the parking lot. Nicer residential neighborhoods. Try to find a spot to park that's not near anyone's house in particular. Home depots, their parking lots are leased. Hotel slash motel parking lots and Walmart parking lots. They work most of the time. How do you cook food on the road when you're car camping? Here's my three essential items to cook in food on the road. table, a chair, and a Coleman camp stove that's ran by butane. I also have a pan with oil, spices, cookware, and cleaning supplies right here. Dawn dish soap and scrubby. You're also going to need some sort of cooler like this. How much do I spend on gas? So my car gets about 30 miles per gallon, it takes about $30 to fill up my whole tank. With that full tank, I can drive 300 miles. Say I wanted to drive to Santa Rosa, California tomorrow. Right now I'm in Indianapolis, Indiana. It would take 2,300 miles and 33 hours. So if I drove 2,300 miles, that would cost $230. Not that bad, a plane trip to Cali would be more expensive. And I would have to pay for hotels. How do you take a shower? I have a Planet Fitness black card membership. It costs 25 bucks a month, but you have access to every Planet Fitness in the entire US. I'm gonna show you my shower routine at Planet Fitness when I'm on the road. I'm gonna start filming on the iPhone. So the first thing I do when I walk in is fill up my water jug, then go take a hot shower. I bring my own soaps, but sometimes they have shampoo in there. Next, I use the sink to brush and floss and use beard oil. Then I do about a 20 minute water massage. Next, I go to the lounge area to chill out, edit videos, and use the free Wi-Fi. Grab some candy. Inside of Planet Fitness, I also meditate, work out, do yoga, and plug in any of my electronics that I need to charge. How do I deal with the cold? Let me show you. First, I insulate my car with the window covers that are linked in my bio. This is what your car is going to look like once you have your insulating window covers up. The reflective part needs to be facing the inside so that your heat bounces off of it. I have my regular 50 degree sleeping bag and this electric sleeping bag I got on Amazon and it's also linked in the bio. Other than that, my bed is just made up of cushion with a sheet wrapped over it, this memory foam pad that I got from Walmart, and then this extra sheet over that. What about car camping in hot locations like Florida? I've got these window screens so I can crack my window at night and still have fresh air without any bugs getting in. That's what the window screen looks like when it's on. I usually keep my window cracked just a hair, not even a finger's worth. I still put on the magnetic window cover. I just have this little part showing so there's always fresh air. Also, I ditch the sleeping bag and I just use a regular sheet as my blanket. By the way, I never sleep with my car running, ever. And I always keep a carbon monoxide detector in my car at all times and I make sure it works. How do I wash my clothes? Go to a laundromat. There's laundromats everywhere. How do I deal with condensation? Damper it. I have one of these hanging in my trunk at all times, but you could hang it right here. What damper it does, traps excess moisture, eliminates musty odors, creates fresher and cleaner air. And it smells good. These will also be linked in the description. They also make mini dehumidifiers that plug into your little car electrical slot right there. This is something I need to do, put a wool blanket underneath all of your bedding. Your wool blanket should be the first base layer. So right now I just have a piece of wood padding and then the sheet and then I add everything on top of it. But if you wanted to eliminate all the condensation and make sure there's no mold growing, it would be a piece of wood and then a wool blanket, then your padding, then your sheet, then all the other stuff. What happens if your car breaks down on the road? You're going to have to get a tow. I have roadside assistance through Progressive. Try to get it fixed the cheapest way possible. And something I recommend is always having an emergency fund of at least $500. And finally, how do I make money? on the road, delivery driver for DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Instacart. I also use this app, Linaldo. Say I wanted to go to New York for the weekend. I needed a place to work to find some money. 
So this is a $90 flat rate job and I have all these different days I could work. $90 each day. Most, if not all of these products will be linked in the description below. I really appreciate you guys for watching. God bless. Stay safe out there and happy travels.